Allison. This is my brother. I'm brother John. I'm the one that's uh, at Shepherd Clinic. Well, I'm out now. Well, about 100 days ago, my brother was uh, diagnosed with Guillain-Barre, which is a temporary quadrant paralysis, and um, it was an instantaneous paralysis. He was in ICU for two weeks, and then I can't really talk about it. Oh, <laughs> it's so okay. I can't yes, I really start talking about it, but anyway. I can talk about it. Okay, <laughs> okay let him talk about it. Okay, that's and I consider myself pretty fortunate to be recovering as well as I am. A uh, hundred days ago, like she was saying, um, I worked at Pizza Hut and I was pulling a pizza out of the oven and it felt heavy. And I was thinking, man, you know, what's going on? And then the second one was even heavier and all this is happening around nine o'clock at night. And um, so I said, I'm, gonna, I'm getting kind of tired, so I'm going to sit down for a few minutes. So I'm getting weaker and weaker and then I go to stand up and I'm just tired as can be. And I said, well, I probably got the stomach flu or may have slipped on my arms wrong or something like that. So I go home and you know, I go lay down and I sleep overnight and then the next day I said, well you know I'm still tired I'm gonna take the day off and I slept most of the day and that night I uh, started getting even weaker and so I called my store and ordered pizza so I didn't like driving or anything well about two in the morning to make a long story short I was calling 911 and I lost almost all movement in my body over like 27 hours and by that night I was in, in the emergency room I went to the hospital and I told John, I said, I got some good news. I got some good news, I got some very good news, and I got some really good news. And he goes, he just looks at me, you know, and I said, okay, I got some good news. I said, what do you want to hear first? And he said, all right, the good news. And I said, the good news is I found you sitting in my wheelchair. And he just looked at me and he's like, golly. I've already given up. He goes, I, already said, he goes, I don't want to spend it, there's just no way. I don't have the money and we'll just let you, you know, have a regular chair. And I don't have to go anywhere, you can just roll me whenever you feel like it. You know, and that's what we plan on doing. Well, I didn't, yeah. but I'm not going to play the chair. <laughs> but when I told him that, he goes, he just looked at me, he goes, well, what's the really good news? I says, the really good news is you're not going to have to be in it forever. And then he just kind of looks up at me, and I said, and the really, really good news is we can donate it back and somebody else can use it. The average person does not have that kind of money. Oh, so I consider myself so fortunate to have people who are willing to help. And so uh, that's where I am. I'm sitting in it and um, it allows me to be mobile. I've been able to go downtown, went to a basketball game, went to CNN Center, and I just tool around in my little chair. Hey, here we go. And what I'm doing is I am sucking fairly, or uh, sipping <laughs> fairly hard on the uh, tube. And um, it allows me to go back. It has different, you know, depths of how hard you sip on it. But that allows me to go back. I'm supposed to do this for one minute every 30 minutes. And while I'm like this, I'm actually able to move my entire midsection to a different position or whatever. And so there's not much weight on it. It allows my weight to shift. That's obviously the reason for the name. And I can lean back like this. I've actually laid back like this and gone to sleep. So I'm saying this, you know, it's very comfortable. I'm going to go back down and do just the opposite. It's called puffing. I'm pushing, putting pressure on the tube. I'm going to go ahead and warm out. And in my headrest, I have a button that I can just bump. I don't know if you, you could hear the beeping. I just bumped it. That has turned into drive mode. Hmm. Here we go. That's turning right. Reverse. Left turn. Right turn again out. I'm getting used to the carpet. You know, if you do it a few minutes, you know, you, you're able to use it. You know, I can drive forward over to you or whatever. So. <laughs> but anyway, that's how it works. So, again, thank you guys. I am so happy. What you know, a great I mean, story. You know,
told you, you just give me freedom, which I would have never had. If it was 1980 right now, I'd just be laying in bed. So, I mean, we were very fortunate to live when and where we do and have people like you guys that can help us. So, I'm like Carolyn, I can't wait to donate it, but I love it while I got it. So, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so again. Much. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks.